What happened to Kevin Owens? I don't know. He, uh, uh, Kevin I mean, I Owens saw, had I a saw, black I, eye. Sammy I had a I saw bl- bloody nose. Yeah, well, Sammy had a bloody nose, but I mean, yeah. Kevin's eye looked his eye looked really bad. Left uh, left eye. Yeah, I didn't see what spot it was there. I didn't see. You know, I was trying to go back and find where it was, but I didn't really find it. But um, yeah, so yeah, that was a. You know, that match was an interesting match. I mean, it was like just over 10 minutes, and it was like Kevin and Sammy almost the entire match. I mean, John worked like 30 seconds. <laughs> he worked the last 30 seconds, and they put a cameraman in the corner right next to him. And John Cena is screaming spots at the top of his lungs. He's screaming, stay down! Wait! And he's screaming to the referee to tell them to wait. And the camera's like right in his face as he's screaming this stuff. And he's uh, riling up the crowd, and then he goes, now, tag! And he got the tag, just did boom, 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 and they went to the finish. And uh, he got his one match of the year. But it's not like you watched his show and thought this guy's coming back as a regular or anything. Um, yeah, but, I mean, he, he he did take out Roman Reigns with an attitude adjustment. So he did. my feeling is just there's something going to go on there. Yeah. You know, I mean, you don't, you know, Reigns isn't selling for somebody at that level. I mean, I'm not saying he won't sell, but Reigns isn't going to let the guy... Basically, basically took him out. I mean, he got the attitude adjustment, and Owens hit the stunner on Sami Zayn for the finish. So he's not going to do that unless there's something, you know, I don't know if it's, you know, again, like backup plan for Mania or just something for Rumble or I don't know what. But, you know, I mean, I, I, whatever it was, boy, they didn't take any risk as far as, like, John, as far as injury risk or anything like that. I mean, he did nothing. No. Uh, um, you know, I mean, and boy, the crowd was hot anyway, though. Yeah. You know, they built they spent 10 minutes building up that hot tag. And I mean, it was really good. It was well done for for if the idea was for him not to wrestle. They did a great job. And, you know, Owens and Zane carried it well and all that. Then we had Smackdown, which uh, had its highs and lows. We had Bray Wyatt coming out to do a uh, segment with L.A. Knight. And then the lights go out. Uncle Howdy comes down to the ring. But then Uncle Howdy turns and lays out Bray Wyatt. Mm -hmm. Uh, Okay, well, yeah. Well, it's a story. The people are really, uh, you know, it's like Bray Wyatt, um, got a broken finger, by the way, but Bray Bray Wyatt is like, uh, he's so over. Like, he doesn't do anything. His promos are creative, but he is so, like, he comes out there and he comes across like a superstar. But... Yeah, I mean, the problem is, is you know, I mean, the same problem we've always had with Bray Wyatt when he's super over. It's like he, somehow it's it's not a good thing for his opponent. Well, we've got he's not, a pitch he's not, black match coming. He's, well, at Rumble. least it's, look, it's. I hope it's, it's pitch black and we just hear. Ugh. I, I, I don't have high hopes for this one. No. Sami Zayn segments, a bunch of those leading to the main event. Sol Disco beat Sheamus uh, when he hit the spike. Yurnagi on the apron and the spike. Obviously, everybody's outside brawling all over the place, which was a distraction. And then uh, Sokoa, the Usos, attacked Sheamus afterwards. They were going to uh, break his neck with the chair spot. Drew McIntyre came out and made the save. So I uh, guess we've got some stuff coming up there. Then we had the big switch. Ronda Rousey versus Raquel, 16 minutes. They had a lot better match than I expected. They did until the end, where uh, it got a little sloppy there at the end. A little, but I mean, I... The match itself for like 15 minutes was good, but then... uh, But Ronda has not had a lot of great matches lately, and this one, like, I was... I just thought, hey, you know, she's... they're, they're, They're doing a good match. Well, she uh, hits her move, and it's like, I think what was supposed to happen was Shayna was supposed to put, like, Ronda's hand on the ropes. But for some reason, she ran over to put her leg on the ropes. And I think Ronda looked over and didn't see her. And so Shayna puts her leg on the ropes as Ronda puts her own hand on the ropes. The ref then starts yelling at Shayna Baszler, but doesn't do anything about it. It was just very, very clunky. And then they fought up on the top, and then Rousey put on the armbar, fell into the ring. Rodriguez tapped immediately, and then she's grabbing the mic, and they just hit Charlotte's music. Charlotte comes down. Uh, Ronda totally screws up her promo. Says, uh, I know you probably want me at SummerSlam. Actually, wait. That's a long way from now. Royal Rumble. 
And uh, Flair says, actually, no, I want a championship match tonight. And Shayna starts telling her, no, you just had a match. You just had a match. But Ronda accepts. They do the uh, immediate match. Uh, Rousey counters a spear into an arm bar, but uh, Charlotte rolls her up, holds it tight, pins her, and is the new SmackDown Women's Champion. I guess we'll see where they go with that. If there's anything uh, going on with well, Ronda they got to they got to do a rematch, and they probably got to feud them. And uh, yeah, um, it is it is interesting, you know, where where they're going to end up at, at Mania. I mean, everything now is to build Mania, so it's interesting to see where they like if. Um, you know, if this is at Mania, they'll probably have already done. That'd be like the third match in the series, so they may break. You know, have them, you know, do something else. So it's going to be interesting to watch this whole thing and you know develop. So they had a segment with the New Day, Maximum Male Models, Madcap Ricochet, this Top was Dalla. This was weird. And all of these baby faces They're just are being of the total dude. assholes. But this guy and missed his dive. Bearing Top Dalla for missing one dive. Yep. And it's just one joke after another. They're making fun of him. He's laughing it off at first. And finally, Ricochet makes some joke, and he just can't take it. He shoves him. And, like, all the babyface can't understand why he got so mad. Like, you guys are clueless. You were total dicks to this they guy. They were total dicks to the poor guy. Yes. He didn't, you know, it's like, yeah, he, it's so weird. It's like he botched a move. But it's like, you know, every, you know everyone does that once. But they like they're ex, you know accentuating it and you know who should have been made fun of you should have made fun of all the guys who were on the other side of that dive where he ended up just falling over the top rope and sitting on the apron and six guys all fell down those yeah. are the guys you make fun of what you yeah. geeks fall down for he didn't even touch you <laughs> yeah he should bring that up next week and we had uh we had Gunther a video of his path of destruction Braun Strowman comes down. He wants a match. They just laugh at him and walk away. So he starts doing his his deal. He's running around ringside, running these dudes over until Gunther just sidesteps him and he just rams right through the barricade and he's down. And uh, they start beating him with a chair. Rick Shea runs down. As noted, he swings the chair. He's supposed to do the thing where you swing the chairs. The guy's bailing. He just kind of hit the ring apron. But man, he banged this guy on top of the head. And uh, that was that. That made of it was a good match. As noted, John Cena, Kevin Owens versus Roman and Sami Zayn. Great heat. Sami and Kevin were great together. Roman got in there. Apparently, according to the chat, it was either a punch or a lariat from Roman Reigns that uh, gave Kevin Owens a black eye. Well, so I, now I, we can get conspiracy theories. Right, right, Kevin right. Kevin Owens yeah. injured his eardrum. Right, 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 right. Yeah, that it was like a receipt on purpose type thing. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So they did the whole deal, got the hot tag, and uh, John Cena ran wild, hit the uh, AA on Reigns. Owens hit the stunner on Sammy, pinned him, celebrated as the show went off the air, and uh, and that was the show. So next week, Usos versus Drew McIntyre and Sheamus. Rick Shea top dollar in a Royal Rumble qualifier. One of these guys ain't going to be in the Rumble. And well, then, I, sure uh, hope it's, I sure hope it's not Ricochet. I hope, the, I hope Ricochet's the one in the Rumble. And then uh, Gunther versus Braun Strowman coming up in two weeks for the uh, Intercontinental title. Yep, so we're on a roll, you know. But did you know that in January, WWE presents the Royal Rumble on the show will be what is being called a pitch black match. Why, you ask? Well, Mountain Dew apparently has a drink called Mountain Dew Pitch Black. And they got a lot of money. If it's all blacked out and nothing happens, we're actually the winners because, you know, we don't have to actually watch it. Jared, put a black thing on the screen here. It's It would be like if the match was like this for 10 minutes, and all you heard was, oh, ow, boom. Oh. No, Mike, stop it. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.